So you stripped a spur gear. Pretty simple repair. Let's dig right into it. First thing we're going to want to do is take that wheel off. Next up, we'll remove the dust cover. Hold that gear using a seven millimeter nut driver pop that right off of there making sure you don't lose your spring or any of the other parts we'll set the truck aside for a moment you can see inside here we've got the clutch pads just simply Loosen those screws. Don't take any of them out all the way yet. Loosen them up a few turns. Get the heads of those screws sticking out just a little bit. Put it on the table just like that and press. That will release the clutch from the spur gear. Those pads just stick onto those pins just like that. Then it's just a matter of pressing that bearing out. Voila! Spur gear ready to be replaced. Normally you'd take your new spur gear, or there's nothing wrong with this one actually. Reverse assembly. Simply stick the clutch back in. Now if you're using the same tooth count on your spur gear, you should not have to adjust your motor unless the motor being out of adjustment is what caused your spur gear to strip in the first place. For information on adjusting your motor for proper gear mesh, please see our video that deals with this topic directly. Now we bring the truck back. Slide our spur right back in place, put the spring on, and get that little nut started. Now for adjusting this, I typically tighten it down all the way. Once it's down, then I turn around and reverse it back one quarter of a turn. And that's how I adjust my slippers. Simply stick the dust cover back in place. Hope you guys are seeing this all right. A little bit awkward doing video. Got to repair the trucks so it's being presented to the camera and not how you'd normally work on these things.
dust covers back on. No. We put the wheel back on. That's it, and that's how you replace your spear gear. Thanks for watching.